Hi guys, welcome back to the channel here at YouTube for DJ Mark Armand, that's myself. I know it's uh, been a couple of years since I posted the last video, but uh, we're back for a reason, because I noticed reading a lot of the comments on previous videos that many of you were curious about the equipment that I've got set up here in the studio. So I thought we'd do a quick video and a walkthrough of the exact equipment we've got for the radio station, which is Soul Vibes Radio. You can check us out on the website, soulvibesradio.co.uk, and you can also listen to us through there, but also on your smart device, ask Alexa to play SG1 Radio, and you can get us every Thursday night. I will be on air from seven o'clock, but you can listen either side of that. Well, that's the plug out of the way. Now on to the reason for this video. So we're gonna do a walk through on all the equipment we've got, starting from here, working our way around. A lot of people ask, what decks are you using? What setup do you have and how's it all configured? So I know this isn't gonna to appeal to many people. Probably a handful of you will find it interesting. If it's not for you, then I'm sure you'll find something more interesting elsewhere on YouTube. So a quick look around the equipment around me, and then I'll grab the phone and film close up and explain in detail how we've got everything configured in the studio. So starting over here, we have the main computer, which is where all the messages come in when we're broadcasting, people's requests, dedications, and and things like that and shout outs. It's also the machine that holds all of our music. Initially, we have record box on here. Now, anyone out there who owns Pioneer equipment will know all about record box. So this is where we keep everything stored on this computer here. Next to it, we've got a XDJ1000 deck from Pioneer. We've also got a couple of uh, CDJ2000 decks behind me that are used when broadcasting. We've also got a, a Behringer mixer and I'll explain exactly why we went for this over a Pioneer mixer. A couple of monitors, speakers, CDs. Yes, we still play some CD requests. Uh, we've also got a Native Instruments deck here couple of keyboards now you probably can't see it but we do have a old-fashioned turntable so if we want to play vinyl some of our DJs like to play vinyl so we've got a vinyl deck there as well and just out of shot on the floor are a couple of computers two computers to be exact and again I'll explain why we've gone for two of these and not just one for when we're broadcasting so Without further ado, as they say, let me grab the phone and get a closer look at what we're using here. So starting from the left-hand side of the studio, up on the wall we have a few bits of equipment that some of the DJs here like to use during the week. Here's an extra microphone for when we have a guest in the studio, when we're interviewing. Here's that machine that holds record box and also when it's on, takes all the requests and dedications during the show. Now we use record box to compile our tracks and then we export them to an external hard drive, this one here, which then gets plugged into this deck, which is the Pioneer XDJ1000 deck. Although we can use this to play tracks, we use it purely to allow us to locate tracks either by scrolling through, but because this does have a touch screen, we can also use it to search using the keyboard any track that someone requests. And when we do that, we can locate the track that we want. We can then hit the tag and that will tag that track so we can play it later on. Okay, you can do that with several tracks, just tag them. 
Now, if we move across, we've got some CDs there. We still play those. Uh, we come to the main part of the studio, the decks. We have the Pioneer CDJ2000 Nexus there. And we have another one on the other side. So we have two of those. And all of these machines are networked via Ethernet cable so that they can all talk to each other. What that allows us to do is on any of the decks, we can then choose the tag and we can locate the tracks that we tagged earlier on the other deck. And then we can load that in, ready for playing. We then got a mixer. Now this is a Behringer DDM 4000 mixer. Uh, it's a digital mixer. Why did we go for this over a Pioneer? Because the uh, the features on here are absolutely outstanding. And one of the best features is that it has what we call a limiter on it built in. And what that's good for, because we have several DJs that use this studio, uh, some of them talk louder than others. We don't want any clipping, distortion or anything like that. So we've got a limiter set up on here built in that will keep all the level of the mic just right. OK, so there's the mixer. Here's the secondary deck. Then if we have a look just above the mixer, we have our jingles. Now, these jingles here um, are standalone. Soul Vibes Radio. 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 So what this means is they're not relying on a computer to control them. These are the Akai. I think it's the MPX 16 units. And what we can do is load on samples into 16 of these pads and they're independent. So we've got two of those so we can kick off jingles at any time without relying on any software. Above that, we've got two computer monitors. Now, the one on the left is the one that has all of our broadcast programs. Now, at the moment, I've got Sam that we broadcast on, but we also have a couple of others that we also broadcast through. So that computer does one thing and one thing only. It connects to the internet and broadcasts all of the sounds live. That's it. We don't run any other software on that. On the second computer, it's got just one program, which is Ableton Live. And this has also our jingles, on there and any commercials how is that triggered well if we swing to the right you'll see down here we have the native instruments machine jam now I know this is used to trigger sequences and samples in music but we're using it purely to trigger all of those jingles on the computer over there so each one is numbered so we can hit those now anyone that owns one of these machine jam units you probably notice we've got it upside down because these touch faders should be at the bottom what we've done is we turned it round and we've uh, reversed all the buttons so you'll notice that all of the buttons have been turned around because we're only interested in those pads. We've got a couple of uh, CDs here for playing. We've also got some more keyboards, a couple of keyboards there for creating music. Another um, pad, Novation, I think that is. And um, the old fashioned vinyl turntable for DJs that want to play vinyl during their show down on the floor below all the decks we do have the two computers here's the microphone we're using the boom mic on there a couple of monitors but that is our studio oh by the way we've also got a phone connected here so when people phone in we can actually feed it through the mixer so they can go live on air and that is the studio 
set up for Soul Vibes Radio. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick walk around tour of our very small and compact studio here in the UK. If there are any questions you want to ask about the equipment or how we've got it configured and wired up, then please ask away in the comments below this video. I also hope that's given you an insight into how we work here at Soul Vibes Radio. It suited us for eight years and it's been very reliable. And if you get the opportunity on a Thursday evening, do pay us a visit. You can visit the website, soulvibesradio.co.uk, and you can tune in to the station there, listen to our broadcast. You can also ask your smart device, your Alexa, to play SG1 Radio and check us out then. Till the next video here on the channel, and from everyone here at Soul Vibes, take care.